Hi there, thanks for joining me. My name's Tebow and we are playing Yuka World. Ooh, signs, information, stuff. Um, not seeing anything on any of these things. I'm still wearing the glasses, aren't I? Yeah, I'm still wearing the glasses. I was kind of thinking that maybe the game would be kind of uh, nice to you and sort of throw you a, a passcode or something fairly early on just to give you a, a taste of what you're looking for. But clearly not. Whatever, it doesn't matter where we go, wherever there is water, that's it, he's in straight away. Stupid dog. Heard you put a pretty good beat down on Val. I never said that. It's kind of a yeah. accurate, I, I suppose, isn't it? She didn't want to hook me up. Hell, in that case, she deserved it. It's a lot worse for a cigarette. <laughs> I remember. I'll uh, just look after that way. That last one died too. Ah, huh? you're really kidding me. Hey. I pick up a f one little fuse, and now I'm overloaded. All right, let's do junk. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright. There we go. Fully loaded. Oh, fully unloaded. This is quite cool, actually. I really do like this place. I'm going to have oodles of fun here. Employees only. Let me find out a bit more about these gangs. I know there's. Um... Sure, we carry guns, but knives are where it's at. It's not fun unless you're up close and personal. That's nice. Glad you enjoy what you do. Why why are you standing in the middle of the water? I thought that was somebody calling me an arsehole then. Okay, where are we? Push the button. Lift comes down. Go. Cool. Push the button. Oh, oh, you're oh, you're right on the edge there, doggy. Hi. <laughs> you see, that's happened before because there's a nice big red splat down there. Welcome home, boss. The digs are yours now. Hope you like the look. But this view is something, huh? Everything you see here is under your control. Gage. Welcome home, boss. The digs are yours now. I moved Hope too far away, didn't look. I? Coulter had some peculiar tastes. But this view is something, huh? Everything you see here is under your control. Now that you're in charge. Yep, why am I in charge? I exactly. still don't get it. Why put oh my god, I look fucking ridiculous in those glasses. Former overboss, Coulter, was a fucking asshole. And that's me being nice. Ended up being poisoned for this whole operation. The way I see it, surviving the gauntlet means you've got what it takes. Or at least the potential. For a good while now, we've needed someone who can get shit done. Make real progress. <sighs> Go on then. If I'm really running the show now, let's get to work. It's just now that fuck. It looks so stupid. Is just the kind of attitude I was hoping for. 
Look, I'll be honest with you. This operation needs someone to step in and take the reins. Sure as hell ain't gonna be me. Leading outright ain't my style. And there's already some blaming me for supporting Coulter all this time. My talents are best put to use helping a new overboss get all this shit under control. You get me? Yes, basically, you are the new Preston. What sort of talents would you say you have, Gage? Aside from being a good shot and having a foul mouth, I've run with gangs nearly my whole life. I know how raiders think, what they're after, and how to use that to your advantage. Trust me, I'm in this just as much as you are. This shit needs to work out. I hear you, Gage. Good. I know I'm throwing a lot at you all at once here. Let's take a step back and talk big picture, okay? Nuka World. Shit. This was the dream. Huge. Built like a goddamn fortress. You run this, world is yours. We had a good head start on it. Got a lot of work went into getting the disciples, the operators, and the pack to work together. But we got here. About a year ago, we push in through the front gate. Take over Nuka Town. Get these traitors under our thumb. And then, well, Coulter got lazy. He was content to sit on his ass. Never bothered putting in the effort to finish taking over the park. The gangs got restless and started pissing each other off. It was... is... a real mess. Wait, what kind of mess am I walking into here? It was little shit at first. Heated tempers, arguments, the occasional shooting. Got worse over time, though. Gangs started staking out as much territory as they could. All being on top of each other like this. Started looking for excuses to turn on each other. If something ain't done soon to settle things down, it's gonna reach a point there ain't no coming back from. Coulter couldn't pull this off? <laughs> he was weak. Didn't deserve to be in charge. Tell me about it. I thought he had what it took, so I helped arrange this whole deal. Didn't work out. But now that you're here, we got a second shot. You know, I think I heard of you. Some big shot with the Brotherhood of Steel, right? They ain't that different from a raider gang, you ask me. Just try and act all legitimate, but they still just take what they want. Look, I know these gangs. Been working with them or against them for years now. I'll help you, okay? Walk you through everything. First thing you gotta do is get the gangs behind you. Without them supporting you, you're not getting shit done. You don't have to trust them. Hell, you don't even have to like them. But you need them to respect you enough to follow you. Have any advice for how I should go about it? Yeah, all right. The disciples like violence. The bloodier, the better. Tell them they'll get plenty of it. The operators are in it mostly for the money. They get promised caps, they'll listen to you. The pack, hell, I don't know. They follow whoever they think is the strongest. Show some teeth, I guess. They'll listen if they're all afraid of me. Okay, settle down. Most of these psychos have seen shit that'd scare your nightmares. They're not gonna be that easy to intimidate. Look, technically, you're already the new overboss, right? That's like half the work done right there. Just meet the leaders. Talk with them. Flex your muscles a little. Show them you mean business. What happens after they're on my side? Then, we get started on taking over the rest of Nuka World. But, one step at a time. You in? Okay, let's do this. All right. That's what I'm talking about. You just need to show them you're the right man for the job. I'll be here if you need me. You are the overboss, after all. Just... don't screw this up. <laughs> yeah, it's screwing up. 
That's gonna happen. That is totally gonna happen. That's not a teapot. God's sakes. Right, loot, 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 loot. What can we loot? Oh, there's purified water there. Where is it? There you go. Nuka. Dog is probably going absolutely mental because this room's just got so much random shit in it. Probably loving it. There, we've got a chemistry station available to us. What else have we got available? Get out of the way, dog. Uh huh. Don't want to go into the fizz top grill. Hmm, we have a. Whoa, steady on, dog. Steady on there, doggy. Steady on. Ah, there we go. We have an overboss's trunk. So, I should be able to stick in some random junk. Oh, actually, it's not letting... It's not, well, it is letting me. It's not behaving as I would have hoped. Let's try here. There we go. We'll use this instead. So get rid of this. Let's get rid of all this random stuff that I don't need. Uh, yeah, we'll put the overbosses stuff in there for now. Let's just get rid of some of this random stuff as well. Just make some room as quick as I can. Stuff that I don't really need to carry around with me. I'm going to keep the nukas on me though. There might be a use for those. All right, that makes a bit of room. Hey, come here. Over here. You yeah, don't wolf me. Move here. Here. Yeah. 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 Right, so I just need a chassis. I've pretty much got everything else I need there, haven't I? If we look at the armor. Let's just get rid of this crap. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, this is all the overboss gear, so we've pretty much got a complete suit of overboss stuff, which is good. We just need to find some way of uh, making use of it, so we need to get a chassis. I'm sure we'll find a chassis laying around somewhere. There's got to be at least two or three power armor chassis in this place. Radio, radio, eh? Hey, to do list: check down trailers, make fun of Mason, check on power armor. Yeah, where's the power armor? Guys, oh, we've done real good, man. Got further than I thought we would. To be honest, I've got the hang set all yeah. Hey, boss, had visits from two of the gangs in the last day. They're not happy, man. Wondering why it's been three weeks. We haven't made moves on the rest of the parts. I gave them all the small jobs to do. Should keep busy for a while. Look, man, we got to do something. Three months, no progress. They're scared of you still, but, uh, yeah. Hmm, okay. Delete my message. <laughs> now we had a chance to talk, today, able to see things over. The gangs, I don't know, you've got a plan, blah, blah, blah. What's this gauntlet thing the disciples are working on? Don't care how much works out there. This wasn't the plan. We didn't spend half of the year just waste of time on this shit. That's right, I've dismantled most of it in one day. Uh, games already bought this gauntlet of yours, new bits then coming in, and we're not doing shit. No one can get word in with you because you're always tinkering with your power armor. 
both these out of the games, it'll just be fine. Nisha says they've improved the gauntlet again. Sounds like it should be a real interesting. Hope we get a real good show out of it. Oh. Okay. Uh, this is Power Armor Station. Where's the Power Armor? Why has he got a Power Armor Station here? If that thing was powered by the... Why does that wire suddenly just stop? Yeah, if that thing was powered by the overhead power from the um, Dodgem's cart thing, why does he have a... Um, well, that must be a pretty heavy night for you guys. Yeah, why has he got a power armor station here? He must have a different set of power armor somewhere. Main, 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 main man about me and whatever. Don't worry, mate. You'll get yours. Right, let's take this lift then. Fingers crossed everything goes okay. I have a terrible history with lifts. Do we not dog meat? We have a terrible history with, me, with uh, lifts, don't we? Right, made it out of the lift alive. Actually, let's just rephrase that. Made it out of the lift. Anyone seen any thing like what we're supposed to be trying to find? Any of these numbers or anything? That was a very roundabout kind of way to take me back outside. Why didn't it just let me go down the lift? That is really random. Alright, let's see, what have we got? Meet the gang boss for the disciple. Meet the gang boss for the operators. Meet the gang boss for the pack. Whoa, look at all this. Mission overload, man. Right, I think I better turn those off. Right, let's go uh, this way, I think. This is the closest one. Nisha really only has one rule around here. Don't get caught. That last one died too fast. Losing my touch. I kind of just want to, like, shoot everybody. Because they're raiders. And Watch I don't like raiders. Boss, we sure will. But, you know, I'm supposed to kind of be in charge of them. Sort of. Oh, girl, you know we should run this place. Not some little green gauge dragged in. We're giving him a second chance. Gage screws this up. He knows we're skinning him alive. So shut up and be patient. What about you, big guy? Nothing to say on the matter? As long as he doesn't get in my way, don't much care. Yeah, figured as much. Both of you just get out of here. Make yeah. sure the others get the message. I would before I shoot you. Hello, Nisha. Hey. So, you engage his little pet project. Last I checked, I'm the overboss. You survived the gauntlet. You killed Coulter, with Gage's help, of course. So sure, you're the overboss. But that title hasn't meant anything for a long time now. If Gage thinks that'll change overnight, he's dead wrong. Everyone knows we all wanted Coulter dead. Of course, if I had my way, it would have been a slow, painful process. How are you seeing anything at all? Let's get this meet and greet over with. I'm Nisha. I lead the Disciples. We've only got one rule around here. 
And that's keeping the peace of this alliance. Otherwise, the way we see it, this world stopped caring about rules the moment people started dropping bombs on one another. Hmm. Hmm. Rules hold us back. Rules need to recover. Keeping the peace. Or be sarcastic. This the world needs rules. Otherwise, we'll never recover. Rules are dangerous because people start to trust them. They make you think you're safe, but once you turn your back, you're dead. Coulter thought some sort of rule or code made him untouchable. But he found out he was wrong. The hard way. Although I could give him a little credit. He built the gauntlet, after all. Of course, it was total shit at first. No imagination. But we spiced it up a bit. Yeah, it was pretty crap. <laughs> you call that a gauntlet? More like a cakewalk. Do cakewalks end in death? Because if Gage hadn't helped your ass, you'd be dead right now. Let's I don't just hope think so. Gage is right about you. He made a lot of promises to get us here. He never followed through. So you better not screw this up. Because I'm not about to tolerate another round of bullshit. Are you questioning me? You're over, boss? Not questioning. Just curious. We were wrong about Coulter. We won't make the same mistake twice. You better fucking not. I'm gonna do things my way. Whether you approve or not. Oh, yeah? I just have a few things for you to consider before you go off and do things your way. You see, the Disciples don't make empty threats. We make good on them. We aren't swayed by caps like those spoiled brats obsessed with their hair, or those savage animals who can't behave in public. Fuck this up, and I will kill you. Although, I admit I have even better plans for Gage. But, if you support us and keep your promises like a good little overboss, we back you. You get to live, and everybody wins. If I fuck this up, I'm gonna fuck you up. I don't make promises, and you'll do what I say. Looks like you're already a step above Coulter. We'll see how this plays out. For now. But if you change your tune and decide to play nice, there's no shortage of work around here. So if you're looking to prove you've got what it takes, you know where to find me. Yeah. This place looks a little bit more suited to a. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, sorry, I was going to say this place looks a bit more suited to a super mutant lair than a, a lair for, for people. Uh, what are these prisoners doing in here? But anyway, that is you may going run to world, but this is disciple territory. We're in charge here. Yeah, whatever. Um, this is going to be the end of this video. I'm going to stroll around in here for a little bit, see what I can find, and I will be back in the next video. Born as hell since this year. Named Atlas came nice to others. The best. Some say he just appeared out of thin air, like the wastes themselves conjuring him up. Some say he was the product of Anyone has a problem, they can take it out with me. Okay, so basically, kill people and get caught. Anyone who's Night Raid, meet up at the monorail station at midnight. Anyone on board his ship can meet up at the main gates at dusk. Uh, there's a caravan passing by, gonna find some live ones to run the gauntlet. Oh, let's read that again. Got hungry for blood, need to get back and get loose. Dixie's monthly slice and dice is back. Sharpen those dice and ditch those chems. Okay. Never pissed him off. Never pissed him off. You're dead. Nice. If it'll surprise you in the usual spot, are they? Could be a good use against certain asshole. Go head out and take care of something. Okay. I also need to upgrade my knife because I don't know jack about metal. Can we pay in trade caps? Whatever. Hit me up if you're down. 
Don't trust Ruby, she's a backstabbing bitch that needs to be dealt with. Caught her stealing caps from my personal stash. I ain't wearing a mask. I want you to see my face when I kill you. Anyway, I'm going to explore around here for a little bit. And then uh, we'll carry on in the next video where we're going to go and talk to one of the other bosses. But that is it for now. Thanks for watching. See you later.